girls and boys. So it's time to read our Can Sightword book again. We read it yesterday for the first time. So we're going to read it together today, both at the same time. So get your Sightword book. If you don't have it, just read out loud with me as I use my reading finger to point to the words. So we know that this says can. Good. So let's turn to the first page and let's read together. You ready? Okay, let's go. See my dad. Good. Let's read page number two. I can see my mom. Very good. Let's turn to page number three and four. You ready to go? Okay. I can see my sister. Good. And page number four. I can see my brother. Very good. Let's turn to pages five and six. You ready to go? Let's go. Look at my grandpa. Very good. Now we know on this page, because we've read it before, there's our exclamation point. So let's make sure we sound excited. You ready? Look, my grandma. Very good. Okay, let's do it one more time. You ready to read the title page? Let's go. The title is CAN. That's our sight word book. Let's turn to page number one. Ready? See my dad. Very good. Page number two. I can see my mom. Excellent. Let's turn to pages number three and four. You ready? Let's go. I can see my sister. Good. And page number five. Oh, page number four. What am I talking about? Page number four. Ready? I can see my brother. Good. Now we're turning to page number five. Silly Mrs. Hamilton. You ready for page number five? Look at my grandpa. Good. And remember to be excited. Look, my grandma. Excellent job, boys and girls. Let's turn to that very back page, the back cover, and let's read all the sight words books that we have read in this book. Let's start from the top. I see, look at, my, and this sight word, can. Good. So we know it's all about our family, don't we? So there's our sight word book. Good reading, good practicing. Next week we'll do another one. And we have an activity to do, don't we? We have our CAN activity. Now, I've already sent Mum and Dad the page for, for them to print off for you. And I thought what we could do this today would be to do a pattern with something that begins with the letter of the week. Our letter of the week, as you know, is M. And I thought we could make a pattern together with something that begins with M. And we use it to pay for things and it comes in dollar bills made of paper and it also comes in coins that are made of metal. Can you think of what that is? What is it that we use to pay for things? Beginning with an M. M. Money. Did you say money? If you said money, you're right. Good job. So let's do a pattern with money. I have pennies, brown pennies, and I have Silver, upside down, can you see it? The silver dime. So we're going to do um, a penny and a dime pattern. So let's start, let's start with a dime because I have one in my hand here. So there's a dime. So let's start with a magic C. We know we start at the top and we go around. So there's a dime. So then it would be a penny. Good job. And then a dime. And then a penny. Good job. Good. So there's our C. Now let's make our A for the middle of the word can. And when we make our A, we start with a magic C, don't we? And then we go up and down. So let's start up here with the dime. There we go. So let's start our magic C again. We'll make it look the same as this one, shall we? So dime, penny. We know it's a dime next, don't we? Dime. And then a penny, good. And then we have to go up and down, don't we? But that's gonna be tricky, isn't it? So let's do the dime. So we're gonna go up 
Oops, that's not a dime, that's a penny. So we're going to helicopter up, we're going to go up. And let's put the penny up there. And then we're going to go down. So let's put the penny down at the bottom because we have penny, dime, penny. So this is going up and down. There's our A. And now let's do the N. So we start at the top with a little line down where we do a, a line down. So let's start with the dime, dime, and then we know it's a penny. And then we know it's a dime. That's it. And then we're going to helicopter up. And what are we going to put next to the dime there? We're going to put a penny. And then we're going to do a dime. And then we're going to finish off with a penny. Good job. So there's our can made out of money. Made out of money that are coins. So I did one earlier as well where I coloured it to make it look like the coins above. Can you see? It looks similar, doesn't it? So I copied the coins and made a pattern on my can just with crayons. So you can do the same. It would be fun to make a pattern out of anything. It doesn't have to be coins. It could be snacks. It could be stickers. It could be buttons. Anything you like. You don't. You can have two different things, three different things. You can make it as complicated as you want to. But I did money because M is the letter of the week. So I hope you had fun making uh, the pattern with me. Try it at home. And don't forget, you should cut out your can and stick it, stick it up somewhere so you can remember that that's the sight word, can. So I hope you had fun doing that with me, girls and boys. And I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.